Once we have all our data coming back into the account, we'll want to better organize and break down that data for insights into the operations. So in this segment, we're going to cover filters, tags, and exports. Now, some additional functionality around these features will also be covered in reporting. But let's first start by diving in to our filter options. So up top, we'll be able to search for missions by name. So we can put in things depending on our mission naming scheme there. We can enter different use cases and get a breakdown of that. Maybe we want to see something for a particular customer or asset, and we can punch that information in here and filter that out as well. On top of the search capability, we also have the add filter function here. So we can limit this based on pilot or participant of that mission. We can add different date ranges. Um, so maybe we just want to see for the last three months, we'll push 90 days in there. We can also add different filter statuses and show me only the completed missions. On top of all that functionality, we can also add our tags. So maybe we're only interested in inspection missions as an example. So we've now added a significant number of filters and drilled down into our data. And we could take a look at these missions individually if we wanted to, get some breakdown there. And what we can also do, instead of looking at a list view here, we can also head up into the map view section. And that's also going to filter our missions. So we can either zoom to the missions that we've already selected. And you can see those two missions here. Or we can search particular areas and update that filter based on map parameters. So on top of all these filters, we can also do location searches by using the map view of our missions table. If I hop back to the list view, also want to point out a couple other things that we can use to manage our, our view here. We do have the column customization. So if we are looking at specific data and we want to just drill into those columns, we can do so. In other videos, you may have seen we can add bulk actions to these missions as well, such as tagging in bulk or deleting. If we only had one selected, we'd be able to duplicate or get Lance for those missions as well. Beyond that, you'll see the density option over here in the corner. So if we want to fit more details into our view or expand it out, we can do so. And finally, we do have the export function as well. So you can pull your data out of the platform at any time. Um, you can drill down into specifics and export that data so you can slice and dice that further uh, for additional reporting requirements. And so all the features that we just covered, you'll see paralleled throughout the rest of the sections of the manage page. So for flights, some of the search capabilities, what we're searching on might change a little bit, but here you'll see very similar filters as well all the same functions for managing the table below too. So the search and filtering capabilities you'll find on each of these manage pages. But if I hop back to missions to cover in a little more detail, as we touched on some of these tags, I'm going to remove some of those filters. So on top of all the search and filter capabilities we took a look at, we did touch on tags. So you'll see a list of the tags that have been added to the account here. So we can either drill into specific locations or we can back that out and drill into specific use cases. If you add both, keep in mind, it's going to work more as an or function versus and, which means it's going to show us both of the tag options we pick. So if we have two locations, it will surface anything with either of those tags. So now that you see some examples and how they're used, we'll quickly take a look at the manage tag section. So this can really be customized depending on your needs for the program. The way I like to explain setting up tags is a year from now, when we are running reports for management, what sort of breakdown or metrics are we going to want to see our data organized by? And so ultimately, that's where we'll get to with reporting in the next video.